Hey guys. So today I'm going to be filming a video that I've been wanting to film for a very long time and that is a like pros and cons of online school video. I made a list of all of the pros and cons of online school and I'm kind of just going to be talking about what it's really like and how it's different from normal in school. I have always watched these online school videos like the whole time I was in online school and even before. Um, I was always just so intrigued by the concept. It sounded so cool to me like oh you don't need to wake up early, you can do it whenever you want, it just sounds perfect. But it's definitely not for everyone so I want to just talk about what it's really like, hopefully help people that maybe are interested in starting online school and don't really know what it will be like. I'm going to start with the biggest pros and then the, the last couple are just like little perks that come with it. So the first pro is that you can do school anytime. This can be a really, really big benefit, especially if you're someone who's busy or has some other, you know, things you're focusing on. You can literally just fit school into your day at any time. Some schools have deadlines at like the end of the week, like maybe Sunday at 12 a.m. Everything from that week is due. But for me, it said when things were due and it says if you're on pace or not, but if you get behind a couple of days, you can make it up by doing extra work, you know, the next couple of days. So it's really flexible. Like, you can literally do it anytime. And this kind of goes along with that one. But the next pro is that you have more time for other things. And I mean a lot more time. Online school literally only took me like two hours a day compared to like eight hours at um, normal school. So that's a really, really, really big difference. I got all of my work done in that time and even more than I needed to. I actually got ahead. So the next thing I would say is a really, really big pro is that you can go at your own pace. You can get like a whole grade or two ahead. You literally can just grind out work because it takes such less time because in um, normal seated school have the teacher needs to teach a whole group of like 30 kids and make sure they all understand it and for this it's just you learning it at your own pace so if you need to go slower and take your time with it you can but if you're a fast learner and you pick it up really easily you can literally get so far ahead you can finish classes so quickly it really is a great benefit of online school that might even be like the best thing about it. The fourth pro is that you don't have to go to school. <laughs> this is obvious but I mean the reason that I started doing online school is because of my anxiety it was really really bad especially at this time. I still have anxiety now but school made it so 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 much worse and I would have panic attacks all the time at school like literally 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th grade. I had so many panic attacks in school, I missed so many days, so being able to stay home, you don't have to go to school, that is like the obvious benefit. So the rest of these are pretty much just benefits, but not really really big ones, just like good little things about it. Um, you get to sleep in, <laughs> this is really really nice, I did not have to wake up at 5.30am anymore, that was amazing. Um, you can still wake up early. I would wake up at like 8.39 and that was perfect. I would have my school completely done before even noon and then I would work out and I would make lunch, I'd go for a walk with my dogs, like do whatever other things I needed to do that day and you get to sleep in. It's really nice. I was much more well rested. And then, okay, you. this is an obvious one. You have the entire internet right in front of you when you're doing online school. This means that any question you have, you can instantly Google it and research the topic. There are sites that are super helpful with online school. Like there are, you just have the entire internet right in front of you. There, you can look up any concept that you're confused about right then and there, like opposed to not being able to use your phone when you're in school, you know. You can pick up topics so much easier. Any question you have, like Google it. <laughs> the next one is that there is no homework. Um, yeah, just doing online school during the day, like finishing your classwork. There's no homework, at least for me, and I've never heard of an online school that has homework, so that's really, really nice. You know, normally you'd go to school for eight hours a day, you'd come home and have like three hours of homework and studying, but no more. That is 
that is no longer so that's amazing and then just another pro for me I would miss tons of days of school so there's no more worrying about like absences or tardies because you can't be absent or tardy anymore so if you're someone who had like 50 tardies a semester that doesn't matter anymore <laughs> now onto the cons there are lots of pros to online school but there are definitely some big cons that also will really affect if you will be good with online school or not so there are like a few big ones like two or three really big ones and then just some other smaller ones but first con this is a huge 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 one and basically you have to motivate yourself completely to do the school. Um, so if you're one of those kids who in school never tried on their work, didn't really care, you don't have a teacher pushing you to do things anymore. You don't have classmates surrounding you to help you with work. It's literally you on your own and unless your parents are like stay at home or they work from home, you most likely won't have anyone else be home with you during the day. So you're literally just motivating yourself completely it's just completely you on your own you need to do the work i feel like that teaches you lots of skills but it's really hard it's it truly is difficult and i struggled with this a lot the first year i was doing it you know during the beginning i was like oh i can just stay at home i can do whatever i want all day being like why do school i can just watch netflix so Keep in mind, this is the biggest thing, and so many people struggle with it. So unless you're absolutely sure you can motivate yourself to do it every single day, you can get your work done, then you probably shouldn't do online school. And then the next one that is, I kind of mentioned it in the first con, but you're isolated and alone pretty much all day. I did a lot better with this the second year I was doing online school, like my senior year, because I had a lot more goals. Um, I would be a lot more productive with my days, but the first year this really, really affected me. I was pretty much just cut off from everyone, completely alone by myself. My brother was at college, like away the whole year, you know. My parents are at work every day. I was just completely alone all day. And I am an introvert, but I'm also like the company of people I'm close with so it was pretty awful like I'm not gonna lie just being home alone every single day it kind of like drives you crazy the next con is you will lose contact with friends if you don't make a, a serious effort to keep talking to the people and even if you do like you're still gonna be kind of missing out on whatever happens during the day at school like it's not gonna be the same as if you were going to school with a bunch of your friends so that's just something to keep in mind um, you really need to make an effort to stay in touch with people if you want them in your life the next con is you have to teach yourself the topics so this doesn't like I don't mean you have to just completely research it on your own and stuff but you don't have a teacher like giving you a lecture you just need to either watch a video or like read a lesson and basically make sure that you learn it yourself like if you have questions I know for me it was like the teachers for each class had you know business hours so it might be like 11 to 2 and they only answer during those times and then if you have a question after that or if you're working on it later in the day you have to wait till the next day for them to answer so that's something to keep in mind as well if it was after their their hours or whatever um, I would probably just google it or ask like my parents or something so you really don't have that much support from the teachers and then another con I really did enjoy a lot of the teachers I had throughout my entire school like experience so in online school you don't have a connection with the teachers you might talk to them a few times but it's really nothing more than just asking questions when you need I know sometimes there are like lessons where they'll open up a little portal and like a couple students will be in this like live chat thing and I never had any of those though I've just I've heard of that as being a thing but it's not the same connection you might have with teachers in normal school another thing it's pretty much 
impossible to make friends through online school. You don't know any of the kids you're going to school with. You don't know anyone who's like taking the same classes as you. So it's not like you can really make friends or anything. Like in normal school, you know, you just go into school, you make friends easily, like talking to people. But this one, you also have no contact with any students whatsoever. At least I didn't in my school and I haven't really heard of that as being a thing either. So you really just can't make friends through that. And then the last con that I have written down is there are no, I mean, there's no choir or band or like jewelry making or like pottery classes. It's just the electives are ones like some language classes or stuff like that. So I really loved doing show choir and I obviously could not do that anymore, which was really sad for me. I hated that I had to leave school the choir was like my favorite part of it there's no sports teams kind of obvious but i just really wanted to put everything right here so that you can really just take it all into account and really compare the two it's a great option as long as you can motivate yourself and you don't mind that you will most likely be alone while you're doing it great if you have like friends you know who also do it i literally just planned a video yesterday about tips for online school and like what you should know about it and the tips I have are super helpful and they are things I wish I knew before I started doing online school so tips for like motivating yourself and I just have so many so I want to make that video as well but I really hope this video is helpful if you have any questions about online school please let me know thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video